Hey, what's going on guys? So, welcome back to another video. So, I lost myself for a second there. Um, so these are my results from yesterday. I just go ahead and do a quick refresh for you. So I spent $1,700 and in return it brought me four six in sales. To get to this level, then it's imperative that your brand, your products looks different to the next person, to the next dropshipper. Consumers are really savvy nowadays. Yours won't be the first dropshipping store they've been on. So if they come onto your store and it looks and feels the same as everybody else's, then it's not very good for business. So it's really important that you customize imagery. And one way you can do this is with your product imagery. So let's say we found this product here that we want to sell. And instead of importing it across onto our website and using this very same image that probably hundreds of other dropshippers are using. So with dropshipping, then your next door neighbor could be your competition or it could be somebody halfway around the world. So it's really, really important that you do little bits on your site to help separate yourself from the competition and do things better than everybody else. So that if a customer is in two minds, then they pick you because you come across as the much more professional business. Trust me, this video will not get a lot of views because what I'm about to show you is not very sexy, but it is 100% imperative that you do things like this in order to separate yourself from everybody else. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to transform this product image here into something that looks like this or something that looks like this. So when somebody comes onto your site, it's an image they have never ever seen before. And that's super, super important. Think about it. When you're scrolling through your newsfeed, if you see a piece of content that you've seen two, three, four, five times before, you're probably not going to watch that same piece of content again because you've already seen it. So if somebody comes onto your website and sees an image that they've already seen before, they're not gonna go through your website. They're not gonna be interested. And if they've had a bad experience, they're gonna associate you guilty by association because you're using the same product imagery, okay? So first thing you need to do is get yourself a subscription to Canva. I'm not affiliated with them. I pay for them myself because they're an awesome, awesome brand. They're an awesome, awesome tool. Regardless of what online business you are running, there will be a benefit to you having a Canva subscription. So to do this, let's bring me over here so we're out of the way. Then first things first, we need, we need to get rid of this logo. If you are using an image that has somebody else's logo that is not yours on it, then you will never succeed. Or you might succeed, but you're just setting yourself up for failure. Why would you not get rid of it? Because it's as simple as this. Obviously, I'm gonna be rushing through this a little bit, so you haven't gotta watch me take um, as much time as you should and as much care and attention, but I'm just showing you the different functions and features available to you on Canva to help transform your product images. So first one we're gonna replicate is this one with this nice 3D effect of text, which I think looks pretty cool. So we're just gonna copy and paste the image so we've got two of them and then go for background remover. And then what you can see when it's done, as you see, we've got this another layer now, which is an identical one to the bed. We're gonna go in for our text. We're gonna bring in our heading, go for a nice bold font, I like Anton. Depending on what the headers are on your website, you may want to choose a font that matches the one on your site. What we're going to do is we're going to make it nice and big like so. And we'll place it about there. And then I'm going to put it behind that original layer. And now it gives us that cool 3D looking effect. The black is a bit bold and harsh, isn't it? Let's go for a white like so. The other reason as well why this is super important is because if somebody comes onto your website and just sees that, then yes, they see what the product is. But when they come to your website and they see that, or they see this, then they see who's going to deliver it. So it's an opportunity to kind of piggyback off the reputation of other brands. So here in the UK, depending on what supplier you're working with, more often than not, it could be Royal Mail that's doing that last leg of delivery. So they see instantly, any UK customer who sees this image and sees Royal Mail, it instantly makes them feel more comfortable. It instantly separates you from all the previous bad experiences that they've had with other dropshipping businesses because Royal Mail is a trusted delivery company here in the UK. And they also see that it's five star rating and they also see that it's free delivery. So instead of just seeing what the product is, they see all these other benefits as well for shopping with your brand. And they don't have to go looking for that information. So we've got a nice 3D effect, dead easy now. I'm just gonna take these different icons and things. There's lots and lots of different options. If we come into elements, we can search for free delivery. And then you've got all these different ones here. So I believe it was this one that I used, but let's say, I don't know, let's say we're just gonna go for this one instead. So what you need to do is you can speak to your supplier and ask them, because they'll have tracking information, of course, to the, to the countries that you'll be selling to and ask them who does that last leg of delivery and then go and find their logo and put it on your product images. The other thing we can do as well is if we put up here, let's go for five stars, uh, find the one. The one that I used is a nice greeny one. Is this one? We'll have this down in the corner. Let's do a like for like actually. So we'll go three. 
delivery. That was this one. And then it was the Royal Mail one that I had to get from Google. But I can choose the handy background remover tool. And there we go. We have the same product image more or less. I'm not gonna mess about with the exact dimensions, but you get the gist super quick and super easy, okay? To create this one, if you wanna get rid of the background entirely, so there's literally pretty much no connection between this one and the original, then what we have to do, I'm just gonna reset this back. Okay, so we have the original image imported across from AliExpress. We're gonna to go to background remover. I'm going to add the text behind like so. I'm just gonna put it behind, obviously we can't see it. Now we'll come up into elements and what we're gonna search for is product background. So we'll go to graphics. And then this is the blue one that I used. Blue is a good one for the pet niche because it's obviously quite a soft color. And then we'll put that right to the back. With this 50% off as well, we could add a little bit more of a shadow, make it a bit more so it stands out a bit more like so. And then we need to actually move this down too so it's in line with kind of like the staged bit. So you've got this line coming across here, so we'll move it down so it's kind of almost like it's sat on a pedestal. The other thing I did as well, I got this poor background, so there's that connection obviously to the pet niche. So if I just click up here, look, poor background. We'll go for, I mean, there's lots and lots of different ones. Let's go for this one actually, because it's got some bones and love hats. That's a nice little touch that. And then let's just extend it out across the full page. We'll put it right to the back, apart from the background, and then we'll come up to transparency. And then we'll go down to like, uh, I think like a four. So you can see it's there, but it's not too intrusive, is it? And then again, we put our icons across the top here. So um, I don't know, depending on what the product is, you could put um, battery level up here and it's gonna give you all these different icons look. Whoops, all these different icons you could put up here. If your product is waterproof, you could put a waterproof icon look. This is why I love Canva so much, is because creating icons and illustrations like this in Photoshop could take forever, um, but it gives you them all that you're free for use. And of course, we have free delivery that we've seen before as well. So very quickly, you can create some pretty good looking product images, just takes a few minutes. And like I said, it's just so much more professional than just using your standard AliExpress product image. And you can really have some fun with it too and make it really on point with, with the brand and look that you're going for. So there are product images I wanted to show you. Before you go, I want to invite you to check out my real dropshipping community. This is a community I created for anybody who can't afford hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars for a one-to-one -one mentorship. Inside, it is free, by the way, for the first seven days, so it's absolutely zero risk. After that, it's only $49 a month. Inside, you get access to unlimited store reviews, so I will help you solve the problem if you've getting visitors on your website and are not converting, and you also get unlimited ad reviews too. So if your ads are not profitable, I will help you turn that around. So check out the link in the video description below and go and see everything that you get included. We've had some pretty awesome results too. So if you click over here and go to more proof, you can see the people that have only been part of the group for a couple of weeks are really making some decent money um, when this finally loads up. So we have James, who has already passed 500 pounds in sales. And we have Yoji a couple of days ago doing over a thousand dollars profit per day. So everything you need to start a successful business can be yours for free for the first seven days. And after that it is only $49. So I strongly urge you go and check that out. Thanks.